As for the hadith, Allah Azza wa Jal has 99 names, 100 minus 1. Whoever counts them, whoever calculates them, whoever uh, uh, understands them and implements them, then Allah Azza wa Jal would admit him to Jannah. These 99 names are not the attributes. See, we have names and we have attributes. The chapter that deals with attributes is far wider than the limited chapter that deals with names. Limited to our knowledge, not limited due to Allah's limited number of names. Because we know that Allah has names beyond our imagination. They're infinite. This is what the Prophet said when he said that on the day of judgment, I will ask for permission. I'll be granted this permission. I will come to Allah's court and I will prostrate and Allah would open my heart with praisings and names of Allah that I did not anticipate. And also in the hadith, وَأَسْأَلُكَ بِكُلِّ اسْمٍ هُوَ لَكَ I ask you with every name that is yours, whether you have named yourself with it or you taught it to some of your servants, messengers, prophets, or you re re revealed it in one of your uh, uh, scriptures, or you have kept it with you in the world of the unseen. Meaning that there are names that we are unable to think of or to imagine. So the 99 names are only names and not attributes. What is the difference? A name is seer. Hearer, attribute is the attribute of seeing, the attribute of hearing. He is uh, uh, al hay and hay is a name. And the attribute is al hayat life. So it goes on and on, and Allah Azza wa knows best. 